All right, so uh, another exciting day. I thought we would talk about um, the third and fourth property that have been through the entire sort of buy, deal with the problems, um, you know, remodel, improve, and then ultimately sale. Um, so again, I thought we would just uh, go back and look at that and, and talk about what uh, what it looks like. So as always, go through the goal, uh, just sort of remind folks of the base framework of what I call the 6 and 20 program. Sort of highlight the properties that uh, sort of went through it, give you the, the down and dirty for, you know, the four or five months that we held them. And then talk about some lessons learned. All right, so really it's a couple of steps. Step one is I buy a distressed asset uh, from a uh, motivated seller. Uh, and I buy um, the property with cash. Again, I'm going to buy the distressed asset or, or something from a motivated seller that they just don't want anymore. That's the real key to all of this and, frankly, what's becoming harder and harder. Uh, then what I do is I reach out to the friends and family I have, uh, I'm so lucky to work with, and um, somebody uh, who I've uh, worked with says, you know, yeah, I'll match that. You know, let's just say it was 100 that, that I purchased it for. Uh, a couple weeks after I buy it, we would refinance it, establish a note, trustee the whole ball of wax um, for that amount uh, I would then pay that individual six percent um, during the hold time or repair time which could be four to six seven months it sort of seems to be uh, averaging uh, and then when we sell the program or the property excuse me um, that investor not only gets their principal back um, but they also will get to participate as an investment partner of mine and to the tune of 20 percent hence the six and 20 program so in this case, we uh, I sort of nicknamed these properties Big Nevada and Harvey. Um, interestingly enough, they were actually both purchased uh, for the same amount, $115. Uh, we'll go through Big Nevada first. Uh, we did just over $28,000 in repairs. Uh, we did a bunch of work um, uh, uh, to this property to make sure it was livable. Uh, one thing that's not on this slide is we actually raised the rents um, from I think it was seven or no, I think it was 900 uh, all the way up to 1200 uh, to make this even a more valuable property for uh, the people that hold it. Um, we had about $5,000 in transaction costs, uh, sold it for 190 k uh, That's when you do all the math that left a gross profit of 42000 which meant my investor who was on this also uh, got a, uh, a $8,400 um, interest, so uh, or a kicker or whatever you want to call that. So... Um, Pretty exciting for them, I think. Uh, going over to Harvey, Harvey was a little more um, difficult, uh, at least in the beginning. We uh, we inherited a property with a great tenant up front, which uh, which was wonderful. Uh, however, we had some troublemakers in the back that we had to deal with, and uh, they uh, they fought us for 60 days, and um, well, so we really couldn't do any work. Uh, once they were done and out, uh, we did a little work up front in the front house. Um, I don't recall how much, but it was probably only three or four grand. Uh, all the rest was done in the back, and uh, we went ahead and uh, released that out to uh, to a tenant uh, who's going to love living in that in that unit in the back. Again, about five thousand in transaction costs. Sold this one for a little bit less, uh, one eighty five. That left a gross profit of uh, right around thirty nine k or seventy eight hundred uh, for the investor on this one. So. Again, so property three and four sort of coming out the other end, right? It's all started way back in February or March, uh, and it's now August, right? So um, I don't really recall when these two were purchased. I would probably say April or May uh, would be my guess. But uh, anyway, so it's it, they average four or five months. It just it just takes that long. Interesting enough, I think there's some lessons learned. Um, first and foremost, in a hot seller's market like we clearly have now, uh, you can actually get paid to deal with uh, evictions or squatters. What I mean by that is, in the case of Harvey, we held it for two months without doing anything, um, and we actually saw some price increase. It, it wasn't a lot, but it was certainly noticeable, uh, and it was it was okay. Uh, and then, of course, we we remodeled it for another two months. So you know, we held that we held that one for two months longer than we we probably had to because of the squatters, uh, but but we got paid to do that. Uh, good contractors are scarce. Um, and I need to start budgeting more hold time. Um, you know, just because a job could take three or four months, or I'm sorry, three or four weeks, oof, three or four weeks, uh, it's very rarely going to do that because investors are, are um, contractors, frankly, are the good ones working multiple jobs. So if, what I've learned is if, if contractors are quoting you three or four weeks, you know, you should probably budget two, week, two months, just double it. Um, 
you know, it, it, it might be different if I was lucky enough to be down there and I can watch them and, and, and do all of that. But again, I'm two and a half hours away and, and, and can't really do that. So um, I need to do a better job of finding more contractors for sure. Um, but it's, um, it's definitely harder, uh, probably harder than it should be. Uh, also finding that investors like turnkey fully rented uh, properties. Uh, I've just talked to an investor today, Tony, um, who's uh, likely going to go down this path. And it's the right thing to do for folks that have cash that want to get in the rental business. You don't have time to learn a market. You certainly don't want to buy a slumlord property and try to deal with all that nonsense. Just give me a property. I don't mind paying market, um, but make sure it's fully rented at, at market rates so I don't have to deal with that. And give me the team and, you know, I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. So um, more and more investors seem to be liking that model, which, which makes me happy. I think I um, I'm under budgeting repairs, frankly. Uh, I've been I've been five to eight k light on um, pretty much every property, uh, and I, and I don't know if that's just because I'm doing more things. Like there was that duplex um, that I'm I'll be doing a video on shortly. I added a three thousand dollar fence, not because I had to, but because it was the right thing to do. Um, you know, so maybe that some of that's on me, but. Um, where I really want to go with this is I need to, um, you know, I need to buy even cheaper, right? I don't mind and quite frankly hold myself to a pretty high standard. So um, I'm going to do the right thing. And, you know, in that case of the duplex, add the fence because um, that's, you know, when I produce an end product, I'm trying to give it to an investor in a state that, that I would ultimately have it in. And in that case, I would have that fence there. So um, even after we agreed on price, I spent an extra three grand uh, to do the right thing. So. Uh, just going forward means I got to buy even cheaper, um, right? If I'm if I'm light on repair costs to say five grand, uh, I need to start going in five to ten grand lower uh, on my purchase prices. So it's interesting. Uh, and then again, it's it's fun helping investors. Whether you're an investor with cash that you know you just want to get a little little interest on, uh, participate in the in the program, or if you're one of those that you know you've always looked at real estate and you know you want to do something. Um, you just don't know how to do it quickly. Uh, the fully the fully repaired and leased turnkey properties is, is proven to be very interesting for some. So, um, just let me know if you're in that area and, and um, you know which one which one if any might be of interest. So in the end, I'm happy to report we're up to 111 subscribers. I'm trying to get to a thousand, so still lots of work to do. So do me a favor and uh, hit like, leave a comment, and please share this video with your social network to see if we can't get uh, some more folks to join the party. Have a great day.